Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again. Ooh, we're on a five streak. Damn. Going up in the world and we've got Lilith this time. And by the way, Zack has officially been added to our streak. I will play as Zack in the next episode, guaranteed. But I'm feeling Lilith today. Tainted Lilith is a fun character. Should be relatively easy as a run. Cursed Eye. Yes, why not? You've given me it, so why wouldn't I? Anyways, one sec. Right, let's continue onwards. Yeah, I don't actually know if Cursed Eye is going to do anything for us, like negative or positive, because right now it doesn't seem to have changed my fire rate at all, and it doesn't seem to have changed how I'm firing all that much. I mean, this little dude's doing his thing, but I don't know, like, when it's going to teleport us. I really don't, but hey her. Um... We'll just stick with it. I, I I basically took it because I was like, fuck you, game. <laughs> Give me a bad item straight away. I think I'm not going to take it. Well, heck you. Uh, upon spawning, every coin has a 20% chance to be upgraded to higher value. Ooh, very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. It's also a very odd room to have zero combat in. That's a very large room for no combat. Anyhow, let's continue onwards. For the question of the day, I actually don't really have an answer to this one myself, but I'm going to ask it anyways. Um... Do you know what? This this run this run can be a be a bag of garbage. Let's just go for it. <laughs> oh, let's just do it. This run can just be a bag of garbage. Um okay, hello. I I will take this at least for now. Just to see if I can get some extra stuff. Uh <laughs> yeah, and my question for the day today is gonna be what's some what's like a food that you just hate? That you just just despise especially if it's one that a lot of other people like mine is is rather um i'm gonna say like i don't really have a proper one but mine at least for someone that lives in the uk i don't like baked beans like at all i cannot stand them i don't like their texture i don't like their taste same with mashed potatoes i also do not like mashed potatoes I do not like their texture. I just, I don't enjoy eating them. And they are like two staples of a UK diet. Like pretty much everyone in the UK absolutely loves both beans and mash. In fact, they often sit on a plate next to each other. So yeah, I just I do not like them whatsoever. I'm sure there'll be some people out there where it's just the classic marmite or like um, seafood stuff. But I'm, I'm, I'm looking for some real wacky answers here. Do you know, there's a... Do I re like? I, I was just thinking. For half a black heart, I can get ten cent. I feel like it's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's good enough. It's good enough. Um, and then let's take a soul heart and whatever this card is. What what card does this do again? Random dice room effect. Well, we're already on a trash run, so let's. Oh. What? <laughs> what the? F what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> I got two planetarium items. Holy shit! Oh my lord! That is unprecedented. Okay, this run, uh, this run went from, went from bad to, to real good real fast. Health down. Well, that health's already gone, but that's fine. We got cyanide, so I'm happy with that. And a luck down. Not so happy with that. But my god, I'm keeping super magnet because, yeah, there you go. But god damn, we got a very good reroll there. Losing out on star isn't obviously the best. The damage up is quite nice, but getting two very good planetarium items is pretty primo. Pretty primo. I'm very happy with that. Also, see, one of the secret rooms gets revealed to us straight away by the looks of it, which I didn't actually know. Um, which is, again, very, very nice. We have also... The Cracked Crown! And we got the golden one from the Reflected 2. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What is... I get, like, the trashiest start, and then my game's like, lol, just faking you out. Here comes the YouTuber look. <laughs> you really think we'd give you a trash run, Turtle Melon? No, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. We'd never do such a thing to you. Never. <laughs> oh, take a good, uh, take a bad thing and make it good is, is, is the, the theme of today's episode. That has to be one of the best stats <laughs> I've had in a while. Oh, God. It pays off to take care to die, people. It pays off to take care to die, apparently. I would very much like some bombs, but... But, yeah, we now have golden cracked crowns. I think that's, like, 40% increase to any stat multiplier that we get. Like, any stat is going to get 40% more of said stat. Which is absolutely crazy. Yeah, I also really like Luna as, a, as an item, because extra fire rate when you find the secret rooms. Just extra secret rooms to find in general. Plus three looks pretty nice here. Da, 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 da. I'm, I'm tempted by the devil deal, but my health isn't great. I'll take a peek. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed with that. Let's just leave it. Um, yeah, no, no bombs, unfortunately. No keys to open the shop either. A little bit sad on that floor, but let's, let's keep pushing on. This is, oh boy, and this is like a really early morning recording for me as well. I'm recording this at 9 a.m. So I'm starting off my day with some Isaac. And god damn is it paying off. I was like, I was in. I was in for a struggle bus run. I was absolutely ready and set to give myself every right to not win. And the game was like, hey, no. <laughs> How about you stop, sir? How about you stop? Do you know what would be really nice, though, if we got some keys, please? I've been having some real trouble with keys in, in recent episodes, I tell you. Like, it's been kind of crazy how much issues I've been having with keys. Like, I didn't even get any bombs this floor, either. <laughs> like, can you can you not get them? Ooh, we got blue Rainmaker. I think blue Rainmaker just has the bubble effect, right? Yeah, there you go. He has, like, Hemolacria shots when he does his bubble attack. I've certainly been noticing a little more lag over the past few weeks of playing this game, past, like, past week or so. The Hemolacura shots aren't that bad. They're easy enough to stay out of the way of. There you go. We got perfection. I actually don't want perfection. Right. So is this yet another floor where we're having to skip... I suppose we didn't skip the item room in the last floor, but still, this is a an, night an, uh, thingy. So I'm, I'm going to go and do this just purely to try and get ourselves a key. I don't really care about the knife piece. I don't even know where I'm meant to be going here. The beast. Um, <clears throat> I just I just want to clear some more rooms to actually get myself uh, some consumables here because I'm getting real sick of the lack of keys. <laughs> There's a bomb at least that could help. I'm hoping we get something that's going to give us an ability to get a lot more bombs and keys soon. I also can use this in here. There, there's a key. Nice, nice. I maybe can do the boss again. I'm not super confident on it without extra bombs. I'm going to say no. I could, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to right now not push my luck with this very, very good run. Oh my god. That was a... Uh... A moment to behold. Right, so, we can now bomb into here, which might not be that useful, but we'll see. I should maybe save it for the next uh, floor, just because I could use the light on the next floor, but we got a lot out of this floor. Now, the question is, do I want to go to the shop or item room? I'm going to say shop, because I get planetarium chance for not going to the item room, and I might be able to buy a key anyways, so I think shop is a little better. Um, unfortunately, we didn't, but we did get something very valuable, and I, I'd actually argue that this is far more valuable than the item room anyways. Um, we got ourselves this, which is going to allow us to get into every single secret room. Right, I just want to quickly check and make sure I'm not, like, missing there. Okay, no, there's clearly not a secret room there. Might be one here, though. There should be an extra one per floor, right? So there should be another secret room somewhere around here. So I'm, I'm doing my due diligence here and checking out everything. I think that's what Luna does, isn't it? It adds plus one secret room. I don't really know where the other one could be. Um, maybe I missed my swing on, on here? No? Definitely not there. The second secret room's here. We also got a black chest, which I will indeed take a little look at. 
Did we? Oh no, we got fire. I was like, did we get a damage upgrade from that? That's that's not what happened. Okay, here's the other secret room. Stay away from the bombs. Also, this secret room quite ridiculous. <laughs> quite ridiculous indeed. This is uh, pretty nuts. This 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 is like 99 coins territory. <laughs> It's not going to give us 99, obviously, but it could have done. I'm only going to go up to, like, 50 here, because I can't be asked chasing this thing around with low speed. There you go. And we will be out of here. We can also play this a little bit more, actually. Just because it's not going to take our eternal heart away. And we got Blood Bag, which is going to give us the speed, which means that now I'm actually okay with grabbing this golden coin. You see, it all works out. God damn, that was, that was good. We've actually got a, a key now, so we can go to our item room too. So let's go back and do that. And, oh my god, thank god we did. Sigil of Knowledge is incredible. There's our next secret room, you cheeky bastard. It also means that we don't actually need to use the, uh, the pickaxe anymore. And there's a bomb too. This is kind of beautiful. This is this has all come together quite nicely. Do you know what? I'll even grab that. Give me some more keys. Beautiful. And away we go. This has been a monumentous occasion. Right. Um, I think we can just bust through this, yeah. I don't need to go to this floor. I just like to. This, this run is just like... Proof of what happens if you bully yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, like, unsupported by any evidence from anyone else. Do you know what I'm really waiting on now? Actual stat upgrades so that our uh, Golden Crack Crown can do some good stuff. These guys are, uh, taking some damage. We've actually not got great stats right now. The fire rate is really nice there, but that's not going to give us any bonus from Cracked Crown, though. I don't know why it doesn't, but it doesn't. I think it only applies to items. Must do. But fire rate with this gal is pretty good. Uh, honestly, I'm pretty happy with more speed. Ooh, ceiling stars would have been better, though. But I'm pretty happy with more speed. Extra chests are rather nice here. Oh, this is a this is a crazy little room here. Quite a lot of explosives going on. Quite a lot of explosives. Okay, good. And the shop is over here. Oh, our speed is so much better now. It's so nice. Electric dice is very nice, and that's really good. We're kind of looking for a new active now because it's like. For one, this doesn't work with electric dice, but for two, we don't really have much of a need for it anymore because we have Explorer's Instinct. Explorer's Instinct kind of removes the need for us to be checking the secret rooms. Although, I, do, I, I, I suppose with the with the pickaxe, we can get to the secret rooms earlier, which is nice. Pins and needles. Power pill. Shot speed down. And LSD. Some wacky stuff going on here. The Pyrons are about... Oh, this is an absolute rave with all these fires, look. Absolute rave. Tears up, look down. There you go. There's another secret room. Um, I guess we can go for this for a bit. Why are we healing? Wait. Just, just a second. Is this item absolutely busted? 5% chance <laughs> um, to heal for double the amount of damage taken. Each hit increases by 4.5% when the uh, resets back to 5%. Soul hearts are added uh, if the amount healed exceeds your total red health. God damn, that's insane. <laughs> it's allowing us to basically infinitely play this thing. God damn. I've never really played a Rotten Beggar before. Is it worth it? Not really, right? The Rotten Beggars don't really give that much good stuff. Yeah, I don't like... 
My frame rate isn't bad right now, but it, it just isn't quite normal. It isn't quite right, and I don't know what mod I've recently updated or recently acquired that's causing it. There's definitely something that I've got that's causing some extra little bits of lag. Right, I want to be exploring pretty much the whole floors here, because we've got another secret room. I think it's like, oh, Explorer's Instinct is already triggered. Okay, I see, I see. I was going to say we've got another uh, secret room over here. One moment. Alarm's going off, telling me to wake up. Ha-ha! I'm already awake. Right, not too bad at all here. I will check out this. Nah. Okay, I think we're pretty much good to go here. Um, I probably should have played this guy. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get anything from that dude. I might play this dude a little bit and see if we can get some hearts. You watch him give us no hearts. I also just kind of want to stay in the arcade for a bit and absolutely vibe to these tunes. Golden Bomb. But I wish that giving one of these a golden bomb just gave you a guaranteed payout. That'd be that'd be a pretty pretty interesting little like, little interaction there, or at least gave you a really high chance for one. That could work for all the beggars, to be fair. Give this guy a golden heart and he gives you a guaranteed payout. Give the other dude a golden key, you get a guaranteed payout. Don't give me Skatol. Thank you. That did heal us that time. Not really what we need. Come on, dude. There we go, hearts. Oh, you bastard. And Skatol's back around. Stop giving me half hearts. Hey, he gave us the razor. Well, that was all worth our time. <laughs> Let's be on our way now, shall we? Yeah, I'm kind of looking for a better active to work with electric dice now, really, I think. Especially considering with the nun's habit and stuff, we could get some really cool stuff going on. Hello, sir. You seem to have been stepped on. We got our angel deal rather nice. The fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's like all the same pill, what the fuck? That's bizarre. Um, and we get ourselves the Might. The Might is decent enough. I feel like this is a run where I can, in reasonable faith, um, take on this guy. Just be careful I don't walk into any of these fires. That would be bad. I also have no keys right now. Take the immortal heart. Good, good. Yeah, again, no keys. I'm surprised by our lack of keys. We have a surprising lack of keys, like, all the time. God damn. Oh, one moment, guys. Right, let's continue onwards. Uh, oh, we got a secret room right above us. I didn't even realize. Oh, God, I'm so not used to how low our fire rate is now. Fire, it's really low. Hopefully we can get some, um... Oh, small rock, hell yes. Uh, hopefully we can get some... Keys from in here. This is bombs. Close enough. Still, I don't think we've gained... Anything from... Oh no, I was going to say we haven't gained anything from Crack Crown, but technically, we did just gain, um... Some extra damage from small rock. I didn't really see how much, but we gained some extra... And fire rate as well, actually. Like, oh god, that should not have hit me. Let's just drop Crack Crown and see what it does. We're actually gaining quite a lot from it so far. Okay, okay. More than I thought we would be. 
somehow love those enemies that you can just kill in a single hit. Right. Oh, no keys! Damn it! Hey, Gigabomb. Gigabomb, Gigaboy. Okay, there's a secret room. Scratch card. Like, when I, when I entered that room there, that was hella laggy. I don't know if it's like the visual effects or something. Thank you. I always forget that doing that with Luna gives you a half soul heart as well. I'm sorry, sissy. I don't need you. Pointy rib's pretty good. I like pointy rib. Right. We carry on. Keep her moving. More hearts is good. Hopefully we can find another blood bank and get some more speed. Because we've had a speed down recently, so that'd be nice. I'm very glad I took the speeds up that I took. They ended up working out really nicely for us. We just need an insy bit more damage. Our damage has fallen off just a little bit. We did just get a damage up, but I, I think another one could do as well. Probably should have left that there, but oh well. Okay, then. We're just checking every wall I can at the minute. Ooh. I'm not a fan of this. Ooh, also, that is a very well-hidden door mimic right there. It's a very well-hidden door mimic. Well done to you. <laughs> Ooh, boy, yes. I definitely want to smelt this for a soul heart. Give me that bad boy. Yes. Smelted onto us forever. That's what I like to see. Okay. Hopefully, we can get another key so we can get into our shop. Uh, Explorer's Instinct just popped as well. Nice. Go away, ghosts. There's the key. Ooh, we've actually got a little new mod to test here. So, if you get a greed shop now, you still get a shop. Uh, someone made a mod, actually, Prian, who makes uh, some of the other things that I've used quite a lot. Uh, yeah, made this mod where you still get a shop, even if it's a greed shop. It's very nice. Might be a little overpowered. We'll find out. We'll take cancer as a trinket. Um, yeah, it might be a little overpowered. We'll find out. I, I, I'd like it if there was a heavier price tag on these items, because at the minute, obviously, they're reasonably cheap. <laughs> get, get the smelter as well. Do you know what? I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with the smelter, you know. I'm pretty okay with the smelter. Wow. We literally just got the three best trinkets in the entire game. Uh, also, the heart biscuit is insanely good. So, I think what I need to do, I need to get the, that, but I need to smelt this onto me first. I might not be able to, but yeah, we just got like the three best trinkets in the game. We got a golden cracked crown, cancer, and curved horn. So yeah, might be a little overpowered <laughs> having the ability to get get into the shops like that. Got the blood bag straight away. There's some keys, nice. We get 2.8 damage from this, very nice. Okay, we're two rooms off. I'm just sort of thinking, how can we do this? There's got to be a way. Because we, we only need to do one boss room. That's fine. Does this give us a charge if we pop this and it spawns enemies? It does not. Um... Hmm. I don't know if there's a way for us to get a charge then. But I'd really like the heart cookie, because the heart cookie is very good. And it's a golden version of said heart cookie, which is even more applicable. Right, let's go do the boss first, and then we'll see. Oh, we got the new boss. I haven't, had I haven't actually had this guy in a regular run yet. Hello. This guy's really cool. Calm down, sir. He's pretty strong. Oh. 
I have nun's habit. That's how we'll do it. Easy. I forgot we had nun's habit. Circle of protections, rather nice too. Look at the speed at which we can fire right now. Yeah, I completely forgot we had nun's habit. Also, didn't mean to get hit there. Um. Right, back we go. Back we go. Oh, what? Okay. There's a downside to those shops. <laughs> there is a downside to those shops. That, that's a good balancing thing, though. You get one go. You get one go. If you, don't, if you don't manage to get what you want when you enter, you don't get anything at all. I like that. That might even be a bug, but I think it should stay that way. That's a nice little bit of balance on those. But yes, we have uh we have a really, really interesting and insane run here. I'm gonna carry my dice shard with me. God damn, I love the resprite on the dice shard. They look so good. Good, good. Off that there real quick. Crack that open. Damn it, I wanted that trinket so badly as well. But I think getting a smelted curved horn, just slightly bit better. So look, we got another one, but remember this time, we've got to be careful. We gotta we gotta know what we want when we enter. I'd maybe prefer if it took you to a special version of these shops below where they can't have reroll machines. Because the restock machines make them pretty busted. Especially if you're going with a lot of money. These these trinkets are bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Um, I kind of would like to... Um, to take this, but I'm I think I'm more inclined to take wooden cross. Right? Wooden cross is probably better. Yeah, let's just go. Yeah, this has been uh unprecedented amounts of crazy. I again these runs are so difficult, because what the hell do I even thumbnail this? Like, do I thumbnail it about the card at the start? Do I thumbnail it about the the crazy um, cr like, golden cracked crown? Do I thumbnail it about all the extra trinkets that we got on a single floor that are literally three of the best trinkets in the entire game? Like, yeah, I don't know. You want my smelter. Ha. You're sick. You're sick in the head if you think I'm gonna do that. Smelt. I don't think I'll bother taking that one. Sir, if you could pay out, please, that'd be nice. There you go. Bit of the old speedball. Yeah, this is crazy, this room. Fully recharges. I don't think I need that, although... I don't need it, but might as well take it. At this point, smelting a trinket, it's all good for us. I love the fact that smelter increases your chances of getting trinkets. Makes it so much better of an item. Like, it'd still be useful if it didn't do that, but makes it so much more fun to use than it does. We got Linga Bean. Also, Linga Bean Resprite is top tier. Right, secret rooms over this way. Give myself that fire rate. Sadly, we don't have any way to get into the red rooms here, because uh, Explorer's Instinct, as you can see, does indeed reveal the red rooms. Good, good. Fire rate going up. And one more secret room for us. We've also got a dice room as well. As well. I doubt I'll get much use out of that. Actually, I'm not even going to open it, because I've only got two keys. I'd rather not risk the two keys that I have. 
Health is very good now. Health is full now. <laughs> More keys. Okay, I st I'm still not going to go to the dice room, though. I will, however, play this. It's very inconvenient that... Oh my god, I got IV bag straight away. Okay, it doesn't matter. What was the thing there from Ipecac mod? Was it the pins and needles? Yeah, it was. Hello, mother. How are you this fine, fine day? They always get golden chests. I uh, should tell you what, though. Owl's a decent, uh, decent one for us to grab here. Especially considering we've already got Herming, so it's going to be even stronger Herming, I think. Um, we we're meant to be going to thingy, but yet again, I balked it, so let's just take the negative. I keep forgetting what boss I'm going for. Yeah, this, this, this run has just been nuts. God damn. These guys are kind of taking a beating. Oh, this guy didn't even take any damage. That's probably why. Ooh, this is actually a pretty good item for us to grab. But early, for like early on in the floor, it could be quite useful. I could have used my dice shard on it, but I thought, you know what? Nah. So let's ju let's just hang it out a bit. We'll come back to that um that red that cracked key there. Because my thinking is we can make that work quite nicely. God damn, this this like orbital burn suite that we've got going on right now is really doing a lot for us. Um yeah, that's actually very nice. We'll take that. Find our secret room here. Another golden chest, why not? That's lost coin, I guess it's a luck upgrade, why not? Um the Empress also may be good. A lot of money. I'm trying to clear out as much of the floor as I can here because I want the Explorer's Instinct buff. So even though normally on this floor I just skip, I want to keep my Dice Shard for a potential Angel deal, really. Um, but I also want to carry on with the floor and use the Cracked Key because I can't take both. So I've got to make a decision. I think try to eke out as much as we can from this floor. I think we've probably got like maybe four or five more rooms to complete before we get the um, Explorer's Instinct buff. It, fe it feels like you got to do about 75%, maybe a little more, maybe 80% of the floor before you get it. So I think maybe going up this line of rooms here is going to get that for us. So on this third room here. Oh no, we got it already. Nice, okay. Wasn't expecting it so early, but I'll take it. Come on, boys. Don't mess me about. Thank you. A double patched heart. That's insane. Play out this guy a little bit. These guys are uber strong. Look at that. <laughs> I just paid 15 cent for Spurred and Uranus. What? How is that at all balanced? Th them guys are getting a rebalance though, so do not worry. Do not fret. They are getting a rebalance reasonably soon, I think. So yeah, now, now we grab this. We come all the way back over here. And we pop this here. God damn. And we get ourselves spawn four to six soul hearts on pickup. Unfortunately, that is next to worthless for us. A very, very good item that I can't believe is classed as um, item quality one. I know item qualities don't mean much, but I still think that's crazy. Uh, I'm going to dice shard it. I just, I like, I realize there is a lot of red items that could be absolutely trash for us. But at the same time, there's a lot of red items that could be. Significantly more useful than not useful at all. Dice. Like Echo Chamber, for example. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, let's just get some LSD in there. Why not? LSD. Cool. Um, could pop the Emperor card, I guess. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you this fine day? Interesting room design here. An extra life. I doubt I'll need that, but thank you. Um, yeah, let's just keep going. <laughs> this is this one's gonna get a bit wacky. This one's gonna get get a little bit crazy. Wait, did I freeze both of these? I couldn't tell. LSD makes it hard to tell. Ooh, wait. This won't do anything, will it? Just because we're already on the womb. I'm suspecting it won't do anything. Drops a random tarot card when picks up. On use, transforms held tarot card. Um, increasing its number by one. Ooh. That's kind of interesting. I like the idea behind that. A Wheel of Fortune. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot it was going to proc the Emperor. Whoops. Fine by me. You're going down nonetheless. And actually, this means we could get the Hush Fight if we wanted it. Although, do you know what? I'm not even going to bother with the Hush Fight because, I mean, look at our, um, our keys. We don't have enough keys to make it work, really. Remember that any card or pill we use at the moment is going to Emperor card us. We've got to be ready for that. We also have extra LSD. Yeah, I, 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 like, I can't wait for the star, Stargazers to get reworked. They're just nuts right now. I, I really don't think there should be any given way to get planetarium items outside of planetariums, apart from, like, how I got them today through, like, a random reroll. So I, I genuinely just think the Stargazers paying out with planetarium items is a bad idea. I think they should be able to play out with, pay out with astrological items, like Leo and stuff. Um, but I think planetarium items is just... No. It's just too strong. Okay, we got our Explorer's Instinct going. Good. It's been LSD'd for so long, I don't even know what's real anymore. Prayer card? I don't think we actually want anything from that, right? Look down. I don't really think we need that either. I will, however... Spread some spread spread the love in this room and see what we get. Cyanide. Cyanide. Oopsie. Teleported to the boss room again. Forgot about that. Pins and needles. Do we have any good pills here? Infested. Infested. An experimental pill as well, why not? Experimental pill. Okay. I think we should continue down. I think we're good to go, right? We, we, yeah. Let's just go. <laughs> oh, this has been a wacky one. I've been enjoying it. One second. My mum is on her way over to, to visit. So I, I, I'm constantly checking my phone to make sure I know when she's arrived. I, I think I left... Yeah, I left my space bar item at some point. Oh, well. Give me some stuff. Give me a payout. Why don't these guys pay out like ever? <laughs> Come on. Give me so much money already. I don't need more charges. Beggar boy. How the hell do you take 41 cent and not pay out? Evil. 
God damn it. Why is Monstro still broken? I removed the Sig Monstro sprites. He shouldn't still be broken. I'm not sure why he is. Whoops. Whoopsie. Am I going the right way? Because the second secret room's over there. But then again, there's more second secret rooms, so... Hard to tell, really. Oh my god. The freezing power is immense. Also, I genuinely don't think this LSD trip will ever end. We have taken too much. Far, far too much. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Just pushing him and his bomb away from me constantly. Okay, yeah, this is the right way to the boss. Good. I should maybe go back and get that, uh, that thing that, that was in this other room. Oh, it's, it's turned to a blank room. Doesn't matter. Okay, LSD trip has ended, surprisingly. Oh, ho, 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 blessed leaf. Hello. Damn it, little early on that. It's okay. The freezing power will destroy you. That bomb somehow got behind me. Dude, how on earth am I whipping a bomb in front of me and it's ending up behind me? Explain. America, explain. That goddamn leech got me. Okay, we're good. We shall take this and hop in the chest. Curse of Decay, I mean, that's a given. As is this. Um, let's complete some of the floor first, just because we have okay-ish luck. So, by the way, Spurred got nerfed, and it's feeling way better. Way better. I haven't noticed it dominating my run so far. There was a big problem that I had with Spurred before, is that it was just far too good. It just, like, you got it, and it just felt like it dominated the run. Now it feels like... Merely an addition. It feels like the flight is the is, is the more important part of it, which for transformations I feel is fine. You can see the little star projectiles. There's Eden Blessing. You can see the little stars projectiles coming out every now and again, but they're not like really common. Oh god, there's a Skolex in here too. There's two of these in a small room, not enough. It's okay. We got it. I really want to get, like, at least sort of two more Eden's Blessings. Ow. Thank you. I will pop these just because the money might be valuable for a beggar. And we got a uh, humbling bundle too, so we get quite a lot. I'm loving how our character's looking right now, by the way. We are looking really gnarly. Okay, keep it going. I'm kind of also hoping for some good cards or pills to take in with me. I think I could end up getting some good stuff going on with uh, Echo Chamber if I get a good chain. Number two is whatever. The other item disappeared for some reason. Number two is fine, but we're never going to use it because we don't hold down fire long enough. We, we all always tap shoot. There, yeah, Explorer's Instinct just propped. Nice. Ooh, extra soul hearts. Potentially, do you know what? Get rid of both of these. 
and pick up the soul hearts because they're actually worth more. We're good. No good cards or pills there. Ping horn, you are going down, sir. I repeat, you are going down. Oh god, he's doing his thing. He always hits me with that, no matter what. We did, however, get some of this in here. Very nice. Some clotty boys to help us out. Holy shit. How many dudes is there in here? Is there just two? There was, there was like 17 hands there. That's a lot of dark balls, fella. That's a lot of dark balls. Look at the amount of pits he's creating. Never seen so many pits in my life. Come on, we only need a few more Eden's Blessings. You can do that for me, can't you? A fettered heart. There you go. Very annoying enemies. Good, good. Thank you, little ones. Oh, I love the fact that freezing these means that they don't split. <laughs> and you are dead as well. Zealot hearts don't do anything for us, right? I don't think zealot hearts do anything for us. Which is good because we just lost one. Right. I think we are good to go. Sadly, Echo Chamber was pretty worthless. All it did is give us a really long LSD trip and that's about it. <laughs> Let's do this thing. What up, Mega Stan? How you doing, my fella? I'm gonna be whipping you back and forth. I, I don't. I never really know. Like, do you need to even bother killing the hands? Like, I've never actually known what because ki killing the hands doesn't actually take down his health bar. But I don't actually know what it does. Like, does he gain different attack patterns? I could just do this to be fair. <laughs> like, does he gain different attack patterns when um when he's got hands? I don't know. Did he just kill his own little child there? I've just noticed, by the way, I have slightly too high fire rate to the point where I'm not really hitting things when I'm whipping too quickly. I've got to, like, go a little bit slower than my maximum fire rate. Otherwise, I, I quite literally can't hit things. Because, yeah, like, he's got his hand back now, look. And, yeah, he gets to do that attack. But is that, like, all it does? I'm actually not doing a lot of damage to this guy. Not as much as I'd hoped. Like, you can see how far my whip's going, look. It's like, it's, it's like limiting the range a lot. I think it might actually be better to hold. Because our little buddy aims directly at enemies already for us. So the fact that he already aims at enemies means that that plus herming is like... A guaranteed lot of damage. Yeah, I think I think this is easier. Like it's it good, it's good damage, but I think it's just significantly easier on us. Like yeah, look at that damage, just because of the insane fire rate we have. Looks like we're firing like purple seeds. There you go, and then Spurred is a. Uh, Firing off every now and again. Yeah, they've definitely done a very good job at balancing Spurred. It feels a lot, lot better now. It used to absolutely dominate runs. And now it's like a mere addition to the run. How are you not dead yet, sir? There you go. Like, even with this amount of fire rate, because, like, the amount of, like, stars and stuff it spawned seemed to scale with your fire rate, at least somewhat. So, now I'm definitely noticing that that's not as big of an issue, because we have really high fire rate now. Um, but the problem before was, you have really high fire rate, and you just have spurred tears all over the screen, all the time. I also don't, still don't really get how you're meant to dodge attacks like this. 
I'm just like hoping, like praying, <laughs> essentially. Circle of protection is doing a good job. But yeah, it's nice to hold down rather than tap because I don't have to be at close range and I can just focus on dodging and just let him do the work. Second protection's doing a very good job. Second protection's so good. We're actually losing, losing quite a lot of health, but I think it's basically impossible that we lose at this point. Even if I take some really dumb damage, he's so nearly dead. And we just got healed for an extra two soul hearts. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Absolutely fantastic run. We're going to end it off here. I don't think Void is a good idea. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Very fun run. And I'll see you guys in the next one.